Hi everyone, this is Yana Smakula and thank you so much for joining me today. A couple of weeks ago, I shared two super simple cards created using Simon Says Stamp for fin um, faux fingerprints stamp set. And a couple of you asked me to share a video tutorial for these cards. Well, luckily I did film a video as I was making them. And uh, just today I found the time to finally edit the video and share. So here I'm starting to work on the first card and this one consists of several different animals. So the idea basically is to use the little animal stamps and create a pattern. I've mounted different animals onto a clear block and I made sure to pick a couple so so they would be um, so that they would create a line long enough to fill the width of a standard ADU card. So I mounted them onto a clear block and I stamped them in Simon's black ink. By doing so, I made it easier and faster for myself to create and stamp that pattern. Right now, I'm using Simon's uh, dye inks to add color to my pattern and I'm just uh, going with different colors. For this card, I picked a masculine color combo and I went with um, let's see. Okay, I went with stone, orange, slush, sunshine, and deep sea colors. Now you'll also notice that I didn't stamp uh, each row identically. I sort of like moved my rows to the left and to the right. Well, the intention was to leave some white space on the panel to be able to fit a sentiment later. Um, and when I, as I was stamping the last row, you'll notice that I sort of like uh, grabbed another clear block with a sentiment mounted on it. And I measured and made sure that the gap that I was leaving between the stamped images was large enough to accommodate that sentiment. So here I'm switching to that sentiment stamp and I'm going to stamp it in the gaps and the white gaps between my animals. And the sentiment I'm stamping says one of a kind. Now this is a very long and uh, skinny, well not long, but skinny sentiment. So to make sure it fills enough space on the card, I'm actually stamping it three times in each of those openings. And that just creates a nice little you know, sort of like an unexpected pattern. I'm also going to heat emboss this sentiment in white embossing powder onto black um, cardstock strip and I will foam mount that onto the card to create the actual focal sentiment for this project. And here is what the finished card looks like. I foam mounted it onto an A2 top folding card base. I foam mounted my sentiment and I used black foam tape for that. And I also added black enamel dots by using Nuvo uh, drops in black. Moving on to the second card and this one is all about colorful flamingos. So I have already stamped a test pattern for myself and I do this all the time whenever I'm just starting to work on a card or I have an idea in mind. I always create a test pattern on a piece of printer paper. This just saves me a ton of nice curse stock and I don't have to waste it, you know. It's just a way to save paper. Uh, so I'm using a flamingo image and I'm stamping it repeatedly onto my uh, panel and this panel is cut to four by five and a quarter inches. I'm using my uh, the grid lines on my paper pad under my image, under my panel, to make sure I align these images nice and straight. And I find this to be very helpful. I also like to use clear block with grid lines. I'm not using one uh, here in particularly, but I did use one for the previous uh, panel that I had stamped. So I'm just stamping flamingos and I'm filling in the gaps or the blanks, making sure my pattern is all nice and complete. And I am going outside the lines, outside the edges of the panel to make sure it looks as a continuous pattern. I really like that the legs of the flamingo, how they cross, they kind of look like uh, number four here. Now to add color to my uh, pattern, I'm also going to use several colors of ink from Simon and this time I think I used five different colors. Um, let's see what colors I used specifically. Okay, so I went with sunshine, stone, watermelon, hollyhock, and magnolia. So basically I just mixed um, some yellow, pink, and purple and a little bit of gray. I really like how those colors look together and how they add a nice, um, I don't know, pop of color to the pattern. And once again, I'm stamping my colors randomly. 
I'm using a different fingerprint image for each color so that I don't have to clean the stamp every time I go to the next color. And this is what's cool about this stamp set. There are actually five different fingerprints. So if you stamp five fingerprints in different colors, you can use a different stamp for every color. And thus these fingerprints will all look different. And that just makes your card a little bit more interesting and unique. After I finished stamping, and that really didn't take all that long, I once again heat embossed a sentiment in white embossing powder onto black cardstock strip, and I heat embossed Be Yourself. I heat embossed it three times. I foam mounted those little strips onto the card, and I also added Nouveau drops in black. Now I keep my black cardstock strips in a little container. I actually pre-cut my black cardstock onto strips, into strips ahead of time to make sure that I have them ready on hand and ready to go. And I also pre-cut my white paper and this just saves a ton of time. So this finishes this video. I hope it was interesting and helpful. This is a little bit different as I, uh, I did my voiceover slightly differently, but this uh, kind of saves me a lot of time by doing it this way. Let me know what you think, you know, if you enjoy this kind of voiceovers and these kind of videos. And um, thank you so much for watching. Um, by the way, if you're looking for the, the links to the products I used, I'm uh, linking to all of them below in the video description. And I also have a link to my blog post in there as well. Thanks. I will see you next time. Bye.